Hey guys, welcome to my house. I figured I would give you like an updated RV tour, tiny house tour kind of thing because it's been a little while since we first moved in and we've done a little decorating and a little rearranging and stuff. So here we go. I'm at the front door. All right, so we walk up the steps and we come in here to the kitchen. Hold on, I'm gonna close the door. So this is technically an RV door, so I can like leave it open and have just the screen, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. Um, where should we start? This is a work in progress. We put kind of a border on there. It's not quite done. We have to uh, sand it and paint it a little bit. Above the front door are these gorgeous African baskets that I bought, that I put up there. All right, let's go to the kitchen. The kitchen is like my favorite. <laughs> so as you can see behind me, it's quite a tiny little kitchen. <laughs> I've got some storage up here for tools and things that Alex has all filled, flashlights. And then down here, um, the kids used to put their shoes there, but now it's just like umbrellas and first aid kit. And this is the sink right down here. I'm not in love with this, but it's working for now. I do like it that it like detaches and I can like use it everywhere. And then this part little thing comes off and then there's a big stainless steel sink in there. It's a pretty big sink especially for the size of this kitchen. And then this fridge is a residential sized fridge, technically. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't have to do groceries every five seconds like most people have to do in a tiny house. Actually, I'll show you. Um, it's kind of messy, so that's our freezer. And this is our fridge, fully stocked, a little messy. And then right behind me is the whole pantry, <laughs> which is pretty big. It actually used to have a door on it when we uh, first started out, but I took it off. It's just kind of nice to have everything open and more accessible. So there we go. We've got all of our vitamins, cereal, dry goods, all of our plates and bowls. And then the last two shelves are just dry foods and cleaning supplies. And then let's move over to the stove. So this stove is actually propane. It's three burners, which is really all I need. Like even if I'm making a huge meal, I only use like two burners max, maybe three. I did that one time when I was cooking Thanksgiving for a bunch of people, but I really never use all three. Um, and then there's a little miniature oven, convection oven microwave thing underneath it. I just use it as a microwave. Down here, I have um, a Ninja that's also an oven, a dehydrator, a roaster, an air fryer, a toaster, like it does everything. <laughs> I'll put a link to it in the description below. And then pots and pans, um, baking stuff, and cutting boards. And I have two cutting boards there um, that I use once in a while, but they're really just for decoration, like this. These frames I actually got at Walmart, and then these um, printouts I got online. I just printed, printed them on like regular canvas paper that you can buy pretty much anywhere. I think I got it at Target, the canvas paper, and then framed them and put them up and spaced them, and I'm kind of in love with that. Up here are spices and more uh, pans and Tupperware. And then I think up here is like, extra um like bags and paper towels wow i couldn't think of the word paper towels for like five seconds <laughs> all right now follow me into the dining room i love this dining room because there's three windows and there's so much light that floods in here this is actually a slide out because technically this is an rv so it can slide all the way in to the sink and the same thing with the slide out behind you over here with the stove and the fridge that all slides up like right here up against the sink. It's pretty cool. 
if we were moving, if we were traveling, because technically it's on wheels. So this little beautiful bamboo rattan thing I got at Ikea. And then I love that we can all sit here together. So the kids sit here and then Alex and I sit on either end. Um, the cushions are working well for now. They're pretty thick and comfy. And then this is a little faux marble top. And then little trinkets and stuff that I put there just, you know, just for fun, add a little decor. Oh, I also put these hanging air plants. I don't know if you can see them. The sun is super harsh. I'll show you this other one. I have one hanging on each side. So it is a macrame hanging plant and it's an air plant. And then there's a rose um, quartz crystal there. Just kind of cleanse the air and all of that, all of that stuff. <laughs> All right, and actually I should probably show you our makeshift attic. So up here is technically an attic. It goes all the way back there and comes around here. So it's an L shape. And up there we have all of our uh, seasonal like Christmas stuff, um, winter stuff. I've got all of our, we have three luggage cases. I have a big Yeti cooler up there, my yoga mats and I think that's pretty much it yeah oh and sleeping bags and camping stuff up there then this is our medicine cabinet here ba -ba -da. all the essentials is that chocolate oh I thought that was chocolate like a Snickers bar <laughs> this is the furry on sound system that we have we just hook up an auxiliary cord here um, and then it'll play throughout the whole tiny house which is pretty cool I hesitate to show you this next cabinet because it is it is so messy <laughs> but um, let's just live in truth don't judge me this is all of our electronics so like the drone um, laptop cords charging cords headphones um, tripod um, lighting Everything you need to be like a good little content creator is up there. GoPro, GoPro accessories, blah, blah, blah. All of that goes up there, away from the children. And let me show you our little coffee nook slash fireplace. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is the coffee pot. These are some black and white pictures that I have of all of us drinking out of a mug. This is in the tiny house. This is in Jamaica. This is in Miami. This is in Brooklyn, and it's just pictures of the kids that I really love, pictures of us that I really love. Look at Daisy's expression. <laughs> Shouldn't that be like a meme? Here I've got a couple more air plants, and then a candle, and a Tibetan sound bowl. That is very beautiful and nice. This is where we have all of our cups, all of our drinking glasses, um, jars, the kids' cups, and then all of our coffee mugs. I know, hashtag minimalism. I need to get rid of some of these. Um, yeah, maybe one day. And then down here we have our fireplace. It's not a real fireplace, but it does let off heat. It is electric. And you can actually change the color of the flame if you wanna be fancy. It's getting kinda of hot, let me turn it off. This, we have another cabinet. There's so much storage in this tiny house. This is where I keep all the coffee, tea, and um, like travel mugs. What do you call those? Like turvises and stuff. To go coffee cups. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so I think that's the whole kitchen. So this is the main room. I mean, it's huge. As you can see behind me, the ceilings are giant. I want to say they're 10 to 11 feet when I when we bought this, I feel like that's what it said. It's gotta be at least 10 feet. I wanna say 10, but I feel like I read 11. So I'm gonna say 10 feet. Um, let's see, how about we just go to my bedroom next? So our bedroom has a door, thankfully, hashtag privacy. So our room has a door and it's tinted. Uh, this ladder actually goes right here and it attaches right here and that gives us access to the um to our attic 
but otherwise we just keep it there. All right, it doesn't look like a bedroom, does it? It looks like a living room. That's because it is a living room right now. So here's my little plant. This rug is from Ikea and it's huge. It's like 10 by eight and that's what this space is. Is, um, no, actually the space is eight by 12 and the rug is eight by 10. We've got a cabinet that Alex's grandfather actually made. This has all of our uh, bathing suits, socks, underwear, workout clothes, and then the top is kind of just for like extra junk, little sewing kit in there. Um, this is a CO2 detector. I guess I could talk about this. This is kind of really important. We have one in this room and then in the middle and then also in the kids' room at the end. Um, because we do use uh, pro we have a propane furnace and we use propane to cook and um, you just never can be too sure it's good to have extra co2 detectors and fire detectors in the house you know doesn't hurt to be extra safe all right let me show you the couch I love this couch because of the color because of the function and because it also fit perfectly in here which was a miracle because we've had it at our last four places of residence <laughs> All right, these are windows that are frosted. There's three windows in here, um, but this couch is from Ikea. It's a perfect L shape. This is a cool little marble top uh, thing that Alex made that goes over the edge of the couch. If you want Alex to make one for you, uh, DM me or put it in the comments and he can make you one. These are very comfy pillows that I got online. This is my little a uh, tray here and it has my journal that I journal in the morning. More air plants just because they're easy and I don't have to water them all the time. Another candle on some seashells from Miami Beach. All right, let me show you my closet. I probably, you know what, I probably should have organized this before. This is another one of those moments where I'm like, don't judge me. Ugh. All right, these are all my clothes. and my shoes and some of Alex's shoes. That is it. Minimalist wardrobe. And then this is Alex's closet. This whole thing slides out. That's all of Alex's clothes. Such a great thing to have when you don't actually have like a closet. Behind me is all of Alex's like um, dress shirts, um, dress sweaters, our rain jackets, and our winter coats. As you can see, it's kind of a lot. He keeps saying he's going to get rid of some of those dress shirts. And I keep saying I'm going to get rid of this thing. I don't know. I'll decide later. And then below, we have our washing machine slash dryer. So this is an all-in-one. This brand, Equator, is completely awesome. I can't say enough good things about this washer dryer. The fact that it does an entire load um, in wash, washing and drying in like two hours. And what's great about it is you don't have to remember to like move the wet clothes to the dry, <laughs> which is awesome. And then if you don't take it out of the dryer right away for like the next like four hours, it like rotates it every 15 minutes and gives it a little steam so that it doesn't get wrinkled. Um, it's not that expensive. I bought it on Amazon and it is literally the best thing I could have ever put in this tiny house. I love it so much. Um, over here is a little tiny half bath that I actually don't ever really use. I mean, sometimes I use it to straighten my hair or stuff the guitar or the piano in there. And I, I like, honestly, I barely use it and I might actually take it out and convert it into a closet instead of a little mini bathroom. But if you want to know what it looks like, I'll put a picture right here. There you go. You know what it looks like now. Um, but literally if I opened it now, like the guitar case would like topple out and the laundry basket. Okay, so you, do you want to see this living room transform into a bedroom? Um, of course you do. So our bed is on a lift system. It's called the Happy Jack lift system. It is super strong. I think it holds 600 pounds. 
which is like, come on, that's like way more than we probably need. Did I make the bed today? Kind of, okay. So this is a king size mattress. These are linen sheets, they're French linen, they're so soft. Um, we have a little, oops, we have a little mini table and a little safe there and all of our books that we own. Um, and then we have some lights that string up there that I can plug in right here, but I won't do that right now. And the bed goes all like almost all the way down. It goes down like enough to the couch. I won't do that right now, so, because we don't have that much time. But it's really great and sturdy. Um, I love that at the beginning of the day, I can just put the bed away. Because I mean, no one uses their bed unless they're sleeping in it, right? Like, why do you need to have the bed taking up so much space? So we get to put it up to the ceiling. And these ceilings are also super high, as you can see. I can't get anywhere near them. <laughs> so it's great for Alex, because he's six foot something, six foot six. And then the bed goes all the way up to the ceiling. And it is gone. And then when it's bedtime, we just uh, bring it down. Make sure I go all the way up. So yeah, and then when it's bedtime, put it down. It takes like 60 seconds. And then we crawl into bed. <laughs> all right, let's move on to the bathroom. We all share a bathroom. Yes, it's really not that big of a deal. My kids are six and four and we all kind of get ready staggeredly. Like I'll make breakfast, Alex will take a shower, then we'll switch off with some duties. I mean, it's not a big deal to share a bathroom. Everybody, at least when I watch HGTV, they're like, oh my gosh, we need double sinks. Like who gets ready at the exact same time? Like even when me and Alex worked shift work and we both worked seven to seven, we never got ready at the exact same time. <laughs> so anyway, rant over. Let's go into the bathroom. Closed door, open door, bum ba da bum. I thought we needed maybe a little bit of theater. This is our bathroom. We have this one cabinet for storage. A shower that is actually pretty big for a tiny house or RV type of shower. It has a little bit of a lip to it and then it has two shelves the shower head is detachable so we can like take it off and use it how we want to I just leave it in there when I take a shower and then there's this bubbled skylight which is nice because Alex is like doesn't hit his head at all but he's a little bit taller than this but it's a great size let's see in the cabinet we have I don't know deodorant hair stuff contact solution, perfume, all that sort of thing. Let's talk about this gorgeous wallpaper. All right, so the inspiration for this bathroom, if you haven't heard me talk about it yet incessantly, is the Beverly Hills Hotel. If you've ever been to the Bev Beverly Hills Hotel, oh, it's so gorgeous. <coughs> and in the lounge um, past the lobby, they have this wallpaper, almost exact, but banana leaf wallpaper. And then they have brass finishes everywhere and bamboo. And that was my inspiration for this bathroom. So we have a brass mirror bum, ba, dum, to go along with the theme. And then we have a bamboo toothbrush holder. This is handmade from the Philippines. Um, brass faucet and this nice little vessel sink and this countertop I wanted this exact color I wanted this like cherry wood type of finish because I think it goes so well with brass and the green it's such a great contrast and I couldn't find it anywhere so Alex actually made it for me he cut the dimensions he sanded it he stained it and stained it and stained it and then sealed it and it is so great I love it um, this is our cabinet down here where we have all of our towels and extra toilet paper and what is that oh trash bags for the little trash and this door so weird like why would they put a door here i don't understand i wish it was just like a solid wall so i could have put more of this wonderful wallpaper but this door actually leads to the kids room and i will show you that next and then behind me are um where is it a little monogrammed robes that my grandmother got for us last Christmas. What a cute idea, right? 
and they hang up on command hooks. And if you're wondering, there's the toilet and the toilet paper. Oh, this little, ah! <laughs> this little rug I got at Urban Outfitters. I just thought it was a good contrast with all the banana leaves. Don't you just love this wallpaper? Um, there's one similar on Amazon. If you, I mean, if you want, I can um, write it in the comments. Like if you really care and you want this wallpaper in your house, I can share a link with you. We are moving on to the kids' room. So the kids' room used to have a door and we would never close it and the kids would ask us to leave it open at night and it just, it opened out this way into the hallway instead of opening into their bedroom and it just felt like it was a space waster. So we took off the door of their bedroom. They're six and four. They don't need privacy yet. <laughs> um... But yeah, let's talk. There's two uh, windows in this room and they have just like these little accordion things that they came with. There's Daisy riding her scooter. All right, there are two cabinets for storage. There's one here for all of their like pants and shorts and skirts. And then there's one here for all of their uh, books that they wanna read at bedtime. We've got all of Daisy's clothes and shoes, and then like underwear and socks and bathing suits there. This is Daisy's bed. She wants to sleep at the bottom. This is Walter's bed. He wants to sleep at the top. This is another little cute macrame hanging plant. Actually, you know where I found this? I'll never believe it. Home Goods. Home Goods around here actually has some cute like bohemian stuff. This is Walter's closet. And Walter's shoes, underwear, socks, bathing suit. They've got a lot of floor room. This is all of their costumes. They really like to dress up. So there's like a ton of costumes thrown in there. Those are some reading books, backpack, um, United States map and numbers, just things to have up there. Her dollhouse. This is their play kitchen. And then all of Walter's and Daisy's play stuff fits inside of there. And that is their whole bedroom and that is my whole house <laughs> so thank you for watching this is how I live I live in 360 square feet it is technically uh, parked in a resort in North Carolina in the Great Smoky Mountains right now that is where we have it parked right now it's January of 2020 um, it is on wheels we would love to have it parked uh, someplace else one day. Who knows where that will be? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see where life uh, leads us. But I do have a video about how we picked where we parked our tiny house, which is a big uh, part of any tiny house owner's journey. Where are you going to put it? The laws are crazy. <laughs> um, but I'll put a link to that in the comments so you can see some drone footage of the beautiful mountains all around us um, in the summer. So yeah, if you have any questions about how we do this, how we live this crazy lifestyle, please put them in the comments. I would love to hear um, if you like this video or what you wanna see on this channel uh, more of. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tour and I'll see you next time. Bye.